<laughs> Welcome to Tales from the Thrift, the show where I, your resident thrift keeper, talk about interesting items I have found at thrift stores. In today's episode, we talk about a unique item I was able to sell for more than 18 times what I paid for, is made of a unique material, and has an interesting connection to a certain naughty Nelly. What am I talking about? Right here. This item. What I have in my hand is a boot jack. What a boot jack is, is you put one foot here and the heel of your shoe here, and it helps to remove your boot. Now, what's interesting about it is that it's made of cast steel. That's what caught my eye initially. I don't know what a boot jack is. I didn't know what it was when I saw it in the shelf for sale for $5, but I did know that this was cast steel. And although cast steel by itself is not especially unique, in terms of consumer goods, it's not very common. More common uses of cast steel are things that are gonna be under a lot of stress, like industrial plumbing, or railroad components, not things you find for five bucks on the shelf at a thrift store. The second thing I saw that was unique about this item is right here, it says Old Gringo. You may not know this, but Old Gringo is a boot brand based out of San Diego. They're about 20 years old and the boots sell for between 200 and $800 pretty regularly. Unfortunately, there were no boots on the shoe rack in the store, but seeing this logo here was even more reason to look up how much it could go for. Now, unfortunately, I could not find any exact sales for the same exact item, but I did see other boot jacks that had gone for between $20 and $100, sometimes even more if they were vintage or antique, uh, but we'll get into that later. What I want to talk about, though, is what I priced this at and how fast it sold. So I paid $5 for this, and I priced it 90 bucks. That was on the higher end of what modern boot jacks might sell for, and the reason I justified that price, at least when I was thinking about it, was that Old Gringo is, I don't wanna say a luxury brand, because there are certainly are cowboy boots that cost a lot more than what they sell for, uh, but a fashion brand, uh, a brand that people are going to have preference for and are going to search for specifically. Whenever people specifically search for an item, that's always going to increase the value, especially when there are no other items like this for sale. How could I tell it was made of cast steel? Well, if you look on the back, that's pretty obvious uh, cast markings. I thought it may be pewter coated in brass and then uh, chrome electroplated. That's a common thing people do is they'll uh, cast pewter and then give it a chrome finish with a brass medium, I suppose you might call it. But when you do this, you can hear it makes a tink noise and not a thud noise. And that uh, along with just the polished finish, let me know that it was cast steel. And that's mostly why I picked it up. Cast steel plus a interesting design plus a valuable brand made it something I should at least look up. And guess what? It sold in about 12 hours. But Who's Naughty Nelly and why did I bring that up? Well, in the midst of my search trying to find what this boot jack might sell for, I looked at other antique boot jacks to see what the price range on those is, and I came across an interesting model. This one is called the Naughty Nelly. I will let you figure out why it's called that. And as you can see, this is actually a sought after item uh, by boot jack collectors. Just one more thing I thought you might care about. Thank you for watching, give it a thumbs up. And if you like Tales from the Thrift, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.